this is MTV and welcome to my crib. <laughs> Hello travelers and welcome to the Billsmore in Asheville, North Carolina. Hello travelers and welcome back to my channel. So we are in Asheville, North Carolina and tonight and tomorrow we are going to be spending some time at the Biltmore. If you don't know what the Biltmore is, the Biltmore is this beautiful stunning house and property that were owned by the Vanderbilts. The Vanderbilts are a very well-known family in the United States and have been for many many years. Um, you could say that they were one of the families that helped build a lot of the United States, I guess. Um, they're just a very influential family, very wealthy family. So it is open to the public and you can go on tours. There's a winery, there's uh, gardens, and there's just a lot of to see because it's a full campus. But Tonight we are going to have dinner and to go to the candlelight tour So the Biltmore is completely decorated for Christmas and I know this is technically after Christmas But they keep the lights on until January 4th So we decided to get have a little getaway at the beginning of 2020 And we wanted to come and see the Biltmore in all its glory and we thought hey we might as well catch the Christmas lights while they're still on so that is what we're gonna do tonight and then tomorrow we are going to do like a full tour of the whole place so I wanted to bring you guys along and have you guys experience the builds more with me so I'm super super excited I've seen the breakers up in Rhode Island so it's time I see the build more okay guys we have arrived the ticketing will call was a little crazy a little slow but we got the tickets now we're walking into the bistro for an early dinner. We just parked in the parking lot for the actual house. So we are going to go make our trek up there and see the candlelight tour. All right, guys, there's my first look at it, and it is huge. Look at that gorgeous tree up front, too. And look at these sweet little paper lanterns. So here is a quick history on the Vanderbilt family. Cornelius Vanderbilt was a self-made millionaire who began with making a shipping and railroad empire. He quickly became one of the wealthiest men in the world, and George Washington Vanderbilt, who is Cornelius's grandson, built the Grand Biltmore House. So this family had a ton of money. So that is the connection with the Vanderbilt family and the Biltmore House. George Washington Vanderbilt did create and build this house. The Biltmore is located in Asheville, North Carolina, and there are 43 bathrooms, 65 fireplaces, and 35 bedrooms, just to get you an idea of how big this place is. So seeing the estate on the candlelight tour is a very, very cool experience and something I highly recommend to do during the Christmas time. The Christmas tree in the banquet hall is a real tree brought to the property on a horse-drawn carriage. Keeping with tradition, with the original Vanderbilt Christmas, the tree also has 500 lights, 500 ornaments, and 500 presents. It takes the workers a lot of time and research to decorate the entire house because they do do research to make sure that a lot of the Christmas decor represents what the Vanderbilt family would have at that time and what was popular during those days. So it does take a lot of effort to make it as beautiful as it is during this time of year. Without all the fancy decorations, many of the rooms are still very ornate and have ornate woodwork throughout. You can really tell that George Vanderbilt and his team really thought out the design of the house and it's, a, it's just stunning. It's an amazing 
beautiful place. And the Biltmore House is considered to be the biggest residential house in all of the United States. Not only did we want it as the wall, but we wanted it as a bedspread too. Hello again, we are back in our hotel room after doing the candlelight tour of the Biltmore. It was stunning and so beautiful, but I can't wait to see it tomorrow and get the audio guide because I feel like we'll learn a lot of cool things with that. But other than that, it was gorgeous, such a pretty night. All the decorations were stunning. And yeah, so I'm really excited to see it tomorrow. So we are just going to go off to bed now and I will see you guys tomorrow during the day. Good morning travelers. We are back at the Biltmore this morning and we are getting ready to get out of the car, walk to the house and go on our tour for today. Um, we are going to go tour the house first and then once we get out of the house, we'll go tour some other locations on property. But I'm really excited to see the house with like natural lighting in it. And I'm really excited for the audio tour too because I want to know more about the house. So let's get to it. I loved seeing the house during the candlelight tour because of the lights and the fireplace but I'm so happy we came back the next day to do the audio guide. I would highly recommend an audio guide or a small tour. When walking through the house on your own, there isn't really much to tell you what you're looking at or any details about what you're looking at, so it's really nice to get info and cool facts about everything. The basement was a very interesting part of the tour. They had a bowling alley, a pool, a gym, and numerous kitchens because they were cooking a lot of food. Dining was a very important thing to them back then, and George Vanderbilt had a very, uh, he was, one of his little ticks, I guess you could say, is that he really liked to keep up with schedule and times, and he sharply had dinner each night at 8 p.m. I also loved exploring the gardens and the conservatory and I really cannot wait to come back and see it in the spring or summer with all the gorgeous flowers and greenery being in like the ripest time of the year. are walking through the conservatory right now and it is stunning in here it's so green and so many different plant life it's so beautiful After seeing the house, we went to the farm and Antler Village. I loved seeing the animals, of course, I'm an animal lover, but also I liked learning about how the farm worked back in the day of the Vanderbilts living here because it really is a, <laughs> a fine machine that they have created and how all of that works, it's, it's just very, very interesting. Okay friends, we are back in our hotel room after a day on the Biltmore property and it was stunning. So I just wanted to close up this video by talking a little bit about our experience and 
just everything so first off I really liked seeing it during the day however I really liked seeing it at the candlelight because we were talking about how it's nice to see the fireplaces lit um, it was just kind of felt more homey but however I really liked seeing it during the day because first off it was a little less crowded because we visited on a Thursday and um, I like seeing the natural light in the different rooms so I think if you have the opportunity to do both why not um, but I really loved it and I really liked the audio tour because I liked getting to know more about what I was looking at but it was super stunning it sucked that it was raining but it was still really really pretty and I'm so glad that we went and finally saw everything so we really enjoyed our experience and I definitely think that I will be back one day to see the house and see everything in its glory in the summer or spring so anyway give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you guys have been to the Biltmore before and if you have what was your favorite part I think my favorite part was uh, the Grand Hall where that huge dining table was gorgeous or the library but i will see you guys in my next video bye and happy travels